Galaxy at 6 o'clock. Imagine a piece of playground equipment that's designed to be so safe that it's virtually impossible for a youngster to be injured on it. Well, imagine no more because it's already here, and Mike Scott tells us it's the brainchild of a Tulare County inventor. You guys, be careful of Aaron, okay? No, oh, he's just a little baby. Take a look at the future of children's playground equipment. This is the play maze, constructed of soft, stretchable fabric. It's perfect for youngsters who always seem to get cut up and bruised on regular jungle gyms. Let's go! Let's go! Normal playground equipment is generally hard or is moving, and if a kid makes a mistake, the equipment does something to the kid. But there's no way for youngsters to hurt themselves on the play maze. There, All of the springs and other metal parts are on the outside, separated from the actual play areas inside. It's wonderful. The kids really have a good time playing on it. But beyond that, it's much safer than normal equipment. Oh, definitely. We have a slide at home, and I can't tell you how many times I've gone out to retrieve a child who's fallen off the slide. So it's nice to have something that catches them and that they can play on safely. I like the holes and the balls and that tunnel over there. I especially like playing with my friends in them. Is it a lot more fun than, you know, regular playground equipment? Yeah. Why? Because there's so many things and it's different. Don Gordon has been an inventor and developer of sports, recreation, and play equipment for over 25 years and has been in the forefront of major developments of new equipment in these areas. His products are now standard for equipment the world over. He developed the foam and air landing pits for high jumpers and pole vaulters, and his landing pits, or copies, have been used in every Olympic game since 1968. His work in the skill development line is legendary. He created over 160 separate pieces of equipment which are used throughout the world. The exciting new game of highball with national and international competition is just one more example of his creative abilities. All of these past accomplishments enabled Gordon to make another new breakthrough, possibly the most significant of his career, the play maze line. Through the use of space age fabrics, all suspended with springs, he enables the children to play in a completely secure, safe, and soft environment. The children are literally encased in a cocoon of fabric, away from the hard frame members. Children can climb high, higher than many have ever climbed before, especially for the handicapped. Suddenly they are the big people, yet they're safely enclosed. The visibility both of those monitoring as well as the children is excellent. The variety of play and learning is endless. The unit is at one time their spaceship, the next a treehouse or an igloo. It can be anything they or their instructors can imagine. Because of the safety features and the opportunity for achievement, some models of the play maze have found great acceptance within programs for the mentally and physically impaired. Listen to the sound of the play maze. Play Maze Learning Lab has three levels. It consists of outer walls and inner rooms. This maze is exciting to all. On hot summer days, one daycare center even makes a water activity out of it. The Play Maze Beehive, as well as the Learning Lab, is 10 feet high and 9 feet in diameter. It consists of five levels, all connected by climbing through holes of various sizes and shapes. It has been called the Jungle Gym of the 90s. The children race up through the levels, play games with balls or bean bags, both as individuals or groups, and all the time they're protected against falls and injuries from bumping into support members. Here the Play Maze Learning Lab and the Beehive are connected by a tunnel for more play and different variety. The children can play in either one or cross over from one to the other through their special tunnel. In this case, one plus one equals three. This combination can accommodate up to 25 children at a time. The Play Maze Cubby Hole is a smaller version of the other mazes. It accommodates locations with smaller budgets or less space. The Cubby Hole is just over seven foot tall. Thus it can fit into a room with eight foot ceilings or be used outside. While it cannot accommodate as many children as a larger maze, 
the children love it and four to eight depending on their size can use it at the same time this model as the others allow quick access to the children through easy to lower side walls also like all the play maze equipment you can use it out of doors in the warmest of climates and as opposed to most playground equipment that becomes too hot to touch the equipment is modular has no moving parts is easy to repair or replace maintain and clean and can be readily moved from one location to another one insurance company has referred to our units as the safest of the safe we have created this state-of-the-art technology to provide for controlled safe play giving children the advantage of exciting concepts with exciting opportunities and at the same time providing the institutions with the latest and best all-around equipment to come forth in over a generation. Play Maze, the equipment of the future, here today.